What's good, everybody? Yes, you read the title right. We are back. We are going to be doing tutorials once again. Uh, it's been far too long, about two years since I've dropped my last video. A lot has changed, but um, still in the same shop. Obviously, it got remodeled. Uh, always a pleasure to be a part of the headlines team, but let's get into it. So in this particular haircut, he is going to get a one with the grain with a high skin taper. Um, if this haircut or client looks familiar, it is because this is the very first uh, client that I did my very first tutorial on this channel with. So, um, you know, with with dropping a new video or dropping a reintroduction video, I said, hey, why not bring my very first client back as a reintroduction and uh, just drop a new tutorial with you guys. So once we lay the, the hair down using the one uh, with the lever all the way closed with the grain, we're going to go ahead and jump into our very first guideline, which is going to be your trimmer line, your ball line. Use your trimmer of preference. Uh, make sure you, because it is a high skin taper, that you go ahead and fade that C cup out. Once we have that, we're going to go ahead and grab our clipper of choice. We're going to go with no guard lever all the way open. This is going to be our first panel, um, our first and only panel. So what we're doing here is we're gonna come in with our number one guard with the lever all the way open and we're gonna bring it to the highest point of our fade. Once we've reached the highest point of our fade, we're gonna close the lever, which is gonna be the one closed. And we're just gonna start to lower the point of fade of where we're at, always brushing, always making sure we have a clean canvas to work with. Here, we're gonna go ahead and repeat the steps, but we're gonna do that with the number zero guard lever all the way open as we continue to fade down, lowering the point of fade of where we were previously at. Step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a different number zero guard um, this one's gonna give us a little bit of a closer cut um, a different um, type of fade to different type of blend um, I do feel like the the white style craft guards do leave a faint line when we are fading so I do like to use that specific guard in certain haircuts this next step now is going to be fading up um, now we're fading up that we now that we have faded down we're going to go ahead and close our lever all the way closed and start to knock out that trimmer line uh, notch by notch as we're going up and compress the fade and meet the fade in the middle always making sure you're using the corner of the blade as well uh, to create any detail work that we may need as we're fading and now we're just going to go ahead and repeat the same steps on the on the neck Make sure we create our first guideline. Go ahead and clean them up. Always brush that hair down as well. And then just create your first panel, first and only panel, excuse me. And then begin your process with your number one guard lever all the way open. You'll close it, number zero guard open, close it. Create your little detail work with that specific zero guard that I um, that I previously showed you guys, and then you're just gonna fade up and compress the fade and meet the fade in the middle. So if you are wondering uh, my opinion on these Stylecraft clippers and trimmers and, you know, just the clipper that I'm using in this specific tutorial, I will give it 10 out of a 10. I think the Stylecraft Instinct Pros are the best clipper on the market. The motor is super powerful, super efficient, cuts through anything. The blends come out super crispy. Um, uh, the trimmers that I use by Stylecraft are the Sabres and I put on the, it's kind of like the detailer blade that the that the wall detailers used to have. Um, they're just super clean, super hitters, super powerful. Um, so definitely recommend these clippers. I have switched my my whole arsenal to uh, Stylecraft Instinct from the trimmer, the shaver, the clippers. So personally, my favorite clippers to use right now, no more masters, no more walls, no more babyless. These are my go-tos right here. So 
So as we create this hairline, um, I do want to definitely say um, I do appreciate everybody that once supported me on the channel prior to. Um, so now that we're back, I do want to ask, you know, that everybody like, comment, subscribe, share this video, um, tell somebody about this video. Um, like I said, we're going to be back. I appreciate you guys' support. Um, the channel was doing really good. Personally, you know, just I, I'm going to be real with you guys and be authentic with you guys. I did lose the passion for uh, dropping videos, but um, this is what I do. It's what I'm good at. So I figured, hey, why not come back and just continue this journey with you guys and continue to just drop, you know, tutorials and, and knowledge. And, you know, if I could help anybody, that's always a good day for myself. Look at that fade coming out super clean super crispy blurry as heck man it's, it's, it's definitely good to to be able to showcase this with you guys and uh definitely help somebody um get to this level and uh the sky's the limit for you guys as well so here we're doing the front of the hairline we already got the bag out the way uh he is gonna get some color enhancement here in a few um i have been a little lighter on the color enhancement can't lie um a lot of my haircuts now don't have color enhancement but not against it so we're going to use here our 245 black brown no drip um the client likes you know leaving the shop with the hairline you know super uh noticeable and whatnot so hey got to give the client what the client wants guys so add a little bit of that no drip right there create that vertical bar definitely is going to make the high taper stand out a lot more as you can see whew, that's blurry so we're going to come in with our razor work now. Um, another trick uh, that I like to use is spray a little bit of your alcohol on your blade when you are using color enhancement and kind of go ahead and clean up any of that overspray that might be on the skin. Push it back into the haircut, make the haircut and the hairline look super, super, super clean. Look at that high taper. Sheesh, super clean. So once we get that all out the way, we're gonna come in and start to do our detail work uh, using only the corner of the blade. I like to start my detail work always with the lever all the way open, sometimes stretch the skin, um, always step back, brush the hair, look at it from afar, come back and continue to do your detail work. Once we have our detail work all the way done, haircut's pretty much done, step away from it, give it a different look uh, from a little distance. If you feel like it's good to go, then you're good to go. So for those that forgot, this was the before. Now check out the after. Listen guys, I appreciate you guys for sticking with me through this video. Um, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments, what haircut should be next in the comments. Um, show somebody, you know, share this with somebody, repost it, uh, tag me if you will. Uh, like always, I appreciate you guys, much love. Always good to be back. God bless, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.